This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Kiffin Low Bates here, and today I want to talk about a very important distinction in the blockchain world, namely the presentation layer versus the data layer. So the data layer is the data that is in the actual blockchain. That's the single view of the truth that these distributed ledgers manage to build for us. Whereas the presentation layer is what a Web3 website shows you by retrieving data from the blockchain and putting it on a web page so you have a handy user interface for the user to be able to interact with the blockchain. Now the problem is that although the rules and protocols of the blockchain mean that you can determine who owns what and be pretty certain that that is the case, when it comes to a Web3 website you're in the hands of the designers and maintainers of that website and there's nothing that forces them to tell the truth. They can retrieve data from the blockchain and then present it to you in a twisted or false way and the only way of checking that they've done so is to go back to the blockchain and match the two up. Is what I'm being presented with the same as what is actually there in the underlying data structures of the blockchain? And there's a particularly poignant example of that that came to light today, which was somebody who got scammed out of over half a million dollars worth of Bored Ape and Mutant Ape tokens. The way that the scammer did this, and the interesting thing here is it's not the website people who are, are the ones who were lying. The scammer found a way of making the website lie due to bad uh, UX design. The scammer made some spoof worthless tokens but the images that those tokens pointed to had the verified check mark inside the image. So they made an image which was actually a snapshot of a valuable token with the check mark that this Web3 website used to say it's verified actually inside the image. And as a result, when the Bored Ape token holder went to swap their tokens, the website showed them a picture that convinced that person that they were getting valuable tokens. But of course, that check mark wasn't a real check mark from the website. It was a fake one in the image. And this is where the design of the website is particularly appalling because the check mark should have been to the side or underneath the image, not inside it. That would have prevented this kind of scam. And as a result, the poor owner of these Bored Ape tokens ended up swapping them for valueless junk. And presumably they realized shortly afterwards when they went and looked at the images associated with the token and saw that they still had a check mark in them, even though the user was no longer on the swapping Web3 website. So that's an example of a presentation layer being subverted to display information that did not accurately reflect the underlying data as stored in the blockchain. And I think this is a very important distinction to be aware of, and I think it's one that a lot of people miss, namely that the presentation layer is not the same as the data layer, and it can be messed with, either by the uh, developers of the website, who could be malicious, or by outside scammers who find a way of subverting poor design on the uh, part of the original Web3 website designers. So hopefully that illustrates the difference better than my previous series on levels and layers, which I believe some people got quite confused by. It is an important topic, so I think I will be revisiting it over time, and I'm sure there are going to be plenty more examples of this uh, presentation layer versus data layer issue being exploited by scammers. So be careful, verify, and uh, learn, because it's a difficult and ultimately can be very costly topic to ignore. Bye for now.